Hello, I want to show you how easy it is to use approval policies in the vCloud Automation Center so that you can include all your business logic into the product and automate how people request resources. Now for the demo I have three tabs open. My user who sees an overview of his uh, machine events and activities. Uh, in this tab I have his manager's vCloud Automation Center interface open the development manager and you see at the moment there are no re approval requests and finally the cloud administrator because I want to show you briefly at the end uh, what we do in the blueprints now let's go back to the user uh, my user is going to put a new request in the system and of course this is the catalog of uh, blueprints that he can access and uh, this Red Hat system is just what I need so I'm gonna click on it request a new machine and presto here I got the settings that I can customize I get uh, one or more machines the least duration I cannot change apparently neither can I change the memory this is built into the blueprint of course but I can change the number of CPUs from 1 to 2 and when I hover over information I see that I can select one or two vCPUs and approval is required for values uh, greater or equal to two so let's go for two vCPUs um, I put in a description so that I know uh, what I put in later on uh, additional settings this is customizable of course uh, uh, to your environment I put in a cost center here this is a custom property that I can use in vCloud Automation Center. Uh, I can see a cost summary with the two vCPUs. My machine is going to cost me uh, a buck and a half a day. So, all right, let's go submit. And immediately you see here that uh, my test demo machine is initializing a request. Oh, here is an email to his manager. Let's go and have a look at that. Uh, let's open the email for the development manager and you see here that there is a new email, an approval request and it says your approval is required uh, for this user, dev user, uh, this machine it's a Red Hat uh, image and uh, I can click this link to go immediately to the approval All right. it will also show up of course in his list of approvals once I uh, refresh this interface, let's see. Here it, here you go. Here it comes in the list of all the approvals that are waiting. But I opened the page already, so I see dev machine, uh, the cost. Uh, I see no reason for a request, um, and I, I can give some comments, and I can approve or reject. The, the good thing is that we have the flexibility to edit the request and if needed you can make these fields editable so that uh, the approver can change the requests. But we're not going to do that at this point. I'm just going to approve this request. Go ahead. Forgot to click there. Okay, the uh, approval is gone from the list here. When I refresh here, I'll click on approvals again. It's gone here. And when I go back to the user, you see that it's already initializing the provisioning because this machine has been approved. And it will provision soon. Now, uh, very quickly, how do we do this? Well, Let's look at uh, the blueprint for this machine when I'm the cloud administrator. So I was using the Red Hat Linux 6 uh, base image. When I edit that, you see that for a blueprint in the information, you can ask for an approval policy. So I, I checked here the default approval, so just the group manager of a person. I see that I have some other approval policies defined here, like finance approval, and manager approval 
and then just in the built information I uh, filled in the minimum requirements for the machine 1 vCPU and remember that the maximum was 2 and I just said here that approval is needed at uh, 2 so it's as simple as that and approval groups and policies are also defined by the enterprise administrator here here you see the approval policies that you just saw in the screen and you can define them here and you see that in the meantime everything is going smoothly my machine is provisioned uh, you briefly saw that the OS was being installed and uh, very soon you will see that it's switching on uh, my virtual machine so that's it for this demo thanks for watching